Hello! In today's video we're discussing the maintenance of your new 07 series canister filter. Uh, now before we start, it's important to mention that all of these uh, recommendations are, are sort of general, they're guidelines. Um, your individual filter might vary slightly. Uh, for example, if you have uh, lots of fish or fish that are very dirty, um, you might want to maintain your filter a little bit more frequently than you otherwise would. Uh, also, please note that all of these recommendations are um, in your instruction manual that came with your 07 series canister filter, uh, so you can refer to it there. Otherwise, let's get right into it. Uh, so the first thing on our list is the impeller and the impeller well and the impeller shaft. Uh, so to access that, you have to remove this part first. So you just pull it away like that. So this here is the impeller and this is the impeller shaft that just pulls out of there. Now this is the only moving piece in the entire filter. So if there's one thing you want to maintain properly, it is this piece. Um, and so we recommend on a monthly basis to open up this assembly and maintain these things. Uh, to do so, just take a brush, any kind of brush, uh, and just give it a good, a good scrub down all over. Uh, make sure you also get inside of the impeller well, which is the hole here in which the impeller sits. You want to go in and really clean that all out. Any debris that accumulates on this assembly will slow down the turning of the impeller, which reduces the efficiency of your entire filter. So make sure this is clean. Um, then we do recommend on a yearly basis uh, to replace both the impeller and the impeller shaft. The reason for that, like any moving piece, um, these blades will eventually wear with time and that'll just reduce the efficiency of the entire unit. So monthly basis, clean them out, yearly replace them. Once you're done cleaning them, uh, to reassemble them. So first the impeller shaft goes right back into the impeller well in there. Then the uh, impeller itself can just sit on the shaft. And then when you put the cover back on, you want to make sure that there's a clicking noise. Don't push on this piece here, but rather just like that. And then you're done. Next item on our list is the intake assembly, which is this thing here. Uh, so this thing comes apart at several different locations. We recommend once every three months taking this all apart and cleaning it out. You can use, again, a brush of some kind to do so. You can clean inside the intake like that, inside the strainer, just rinse out this piece. Um, you just want to ensure that your filter is working as efficiently as possible, that there's no debris that's blocking the flow of water from your intake to the unit itself. Once you're done cleaning it out, just reassemble it and you'll be good to go. Next is the ribbed hosing. Uh, so we recommend uh, once every year to take this off your filter and flush it out with water. Again, you're just trying to maximize the efficiency of the unit um, in case there'd be anything that's blocking it. You don't want that to happen and then get discharged into your aquarium. Once a year, flush this out and you'll be good. So next is the primer assembly and the primer cover. Uh, so to access that, you have to remove the motor head of your filter again. So the primer cover is this piece here. Uh, you can just push it off to remove it. Set this aside. So this is the primer assembly. Uh, so every six months we recommend cleaning this whole thing out. Uh, you can pull up on the primer handle to access more of it inside. So just give that a clean. Once you're done, you just replace the primer cover. Snap it back into place and you'll be good. Next is the motor head o-ring. Uh, so you can just remove that from around the motor head like this. Now this is a very important piece and you wanna make sure you're maintaining it properly. Uh, we recommend once a month to remove it and lubricate it. You can use Fluval silicone lubricant item number A325. It's this thing here. Just dab a few drops on it and then just work it around with your fingers. Make sure it's all properly lubricated. We then recommend on a yearly basis to actually uh, throw out this, uh, your old gasket and buy a new one. You just want to make sure this is working as efficiently as possible. It's a very important piece. Once you're done maintaining it, you can just reinsert it into the motor head. There's a little channel, a little groove that'll sit in around the outside of the motor head. And if it's in it, then it will be working properly. The last item on our list is the Aquastop O-rings. So there's two of them. There's one here and there's another one here on each of the sides. I've removed this one just to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, so on uh, every three months, you wanna be removing these things and lubricating them. Again, you can use Fluval, Fluval silicone lubricant A325. Um, again, a few drops, rub it all around, make sure it's properly lubricated. 
and then you can just reinsert it back in. I'll show you guys how that's done. You just kind of sit it back on and it snaps into the little channel that's right there. And that'll be it. Let's talk about filter media now. Uh, so you'll want to first remove the media cover. That just comes off, we'll put it to the side. So we're going to take everything out to show you guys. First you can remove the pre-filter cartridge. We'll just set it there. And then all of the media comes out just with one finger. We'll lay it out. This is the Biomax. This is our carbon. And then we have our other mechanical media here. So first, mechanical media, you want to be rinsing it out on a monthly basis. Um, we recommend using aquarium water in order to do so. So after you've done a partial water change, uh, use that water and rinse out the media. That's just to make sure that it's working as efficiently as possible. Uh, after six months, you will want to replace this media, throw it out and put in new fresh stuff. Um, that's just again to make sure that it's working as efficiently as it possibly can. The exception is quick quick clear. Uh, so these are a fine filter pad. They will very efficiently remove small particles from your water. After a month they'll just be very dirty. Just get rid of them, put in a new one, and that'll be it. Moving on to chemical media, in this case we have uh, carbon. It will be the same, the maintenance will be the same for all other chemical medias, ammonia remover, zeocarb, or our new resin infused pads. Uh, so every month you want to replace these, throw them out, get new ones in there. The reason for that, chemical media after about four to six months just stops working. It's no longer chemically active, uh, so you don't want it sitting in there doing nothing. Get some new chemical media in and then it'll do its job. Lastly, biological filtration. Uh, so here we have our Biomax. Um, so this stuff, on a monthly basis, you want to take it out and rinse it out with aquarium water. Never use tap water for this. Uh, you'll kill off the bacteria that colonizes the porous structure of Biomax and that's obviously not what we want. Then every six months you'll want to replace a half quantity. Never replace the full quantity because you'll destabilize your entire aquarium. Remove half, put in new stuff that's fresh, that's good to go, and you will have a very optimized filter system. So that's going to do it for today guys. The 07 series is a performance canister filter but it can't operate at that high level unless you maintain it properly. Uh, we hope you've gotten some good tips from this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or conundrums, please leave them in the comment section below. Give us a like, subscribe if you're new. We'll see you next time.